How's it going folks? Quickly before I get into this next episode, I just want to take the time to say thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate the love and support. And yeah, if you like the episode or the series, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Let's make an awesome bug. Let's get into this episode. Cheers. All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to The Average Garage. This is episode two of the uh, Volkswagen Beetle build. So yeah, I'm gonna jump into the patch panel that I've got in place. Um, as you would have seen on the last episode, we had just cut a lot of the rust out of one corner. There's still so much more in the car, but this is just one corner. Uh, so we've cut all that out. Um, and yeah, I'll show you the patch panel now. Where we're up to, I've got my first patch panel in place here, ready to go. I'm gonna tack it in and start maneuvering it as I'm tacking it. Um, just so it fits better. I've plugged a few of the holes. Now the panel is quite thin, which is to be expected. I mean, it's what, 53 years old or something. So I expect it to be a little bit thin um, and it's a rat rod, it doesn't really matter. Um, I will patch the one remaining hole up though. But yeah, that's where I'm at with the patch panel so far. Just thought I'd start this episode um, with that. So yeah, riveting. Right, so I've just stripped the other side of the front quarter off and this is what I found. Big, big patch panel. Little repair. Uh, so this isn't fantastic. I am gonna have to dive deep into this. Looks like they've got even some aluminium in here. Don't know what the go is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they've just fiberglassed and bogged a chunk of aluminium in there as well. Anyways, I'm gonna vacuum it all out. So when grinding the area away I found a bunch more rust and it was all covered up by fiberglass and bog so I got it all out of there, grabbed some cardboard, cut some templates, cut some steel, tacked it in place. The reason there's two is because of the curvature of the steel. Alright guys we're back in the shed, it's been oh, over a week now at least um, since I've touched the rust repairs so I thought I'd update you on how it all went and the end result. So as you can see, the rust repairs, they're not the prettiest in the world, but they're good enough. The underbody coating really hides a lot of sins, which is pretty good. So that's that side, the passenger side. Crawl around the driver's side, same, same. So as you can see, near enough, good enough. I'm actually gonna leave that bog there because it ties into the rest of the patina. So yeah, that's uh, the front end done, apart from the Napoleon hat I've got. I'm gonna do a lot more off camera because the rust repairs will get pretty boring and monotonous. So anyways, that's a quick update. Now I'm pretty sure next up in this clip is, or this episode is the tail lights. So I'm gonna show you what I've done with the tail lights in two seconds, and then we'll probably wrap up the episode. So stay tuned and I'll show you the tail lights. But I thought I'd update you guys on what I'm doing with the tail lights because it's a little bit different. So looking at the car, the tail lights were these stupid aftermarket round things, which I've actually got. If I crawl under all this, uh, whoop, if I don't fall over. It had these stupid aftermarket tail lights in it, which are like 20 bucks on eBay, but I really, really don't like them. Um, they look absolutely crap, to be honest. So, I've got the original tail lights in the car which are these ones here. But if you notice, the original mounting hole is quite high and because they've hole sawed these bloody stupid holes in, one, they're not um, in the same place side to side, which is pretty dumb. But I thought I'd be a little bit different and I've actually mounted the lights a bit lower than they used to be and on a bit of a angle. So it's just a subtle little difference. 
but I'm hoping it'll look pretty cool in the end. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll have this running in the next couple of days. Um, for you guys, I don't know when that'll be, but for me, it'll be in the next couple of days. So anyways, yeah, offset and tilted lights. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully it all works well, but um, time will tell. So I'm gonna keep plodding along and we'll see you soon. Alright guys, so as you've just seen, we've done a bunch of rust repairs, uh, the before, the after, the tail lights even. Now, there is still a bunch of rust repairs to go on the car, I think I mentioned it in one of the other clips. Anyways, I'm going to leave them off camera because it takes so much time to do and I feel it's just going to be pretty boring watching the, the process. Um, but I will try and create a before and after of each section just so you can see what's going on. Um, yeah, regardless. I'll probably do a lot of it off camera, but I'll try and fill in some gaps along the way. Um, the next episode, there's a teaser coming up at the end of the episode. Uh, the next episode will be the engine. There is a whole story to go with that to the point where I'm considering making a second episode on the engine itself. Uh, just explaining what I found, um, how I came to these findings, what I found, where I found it, how I found it, um, and what I think has gone on because... There's, yeah, like I said, there's a whole story to it. There's a whole lot that has, has gone on. And it was truly amazing uh, what I found. It's, yeah, I, I haven't seen stuff like this before. So it's interesting to say the least. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. I appreciate the loves and support, the comments, everything like that. If you found this interesting, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and yeah, if you reckon this is a pretty cool build, please share the video around, show it some love. It is a worldwide iconic car, and I think I can make it a pretty cool rat rod. Just look at it. Oh, it just looks so good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, again, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. And enjoy the teaser for the next episode because <sighs> it drove me nuts. Anyways, I'll play that now. We'll see you all in the next episode. Cheers. Heads off. That'll do it every time. There we go. It's a boy. Riveting.